one of the sessions you talked about how you see yourself in the mirror and you think you are in the mirror. And if you extrapolate that, that to different experiences that you have, you can disperse this exploration throughout the day where when you go in front of the mirror, the moment you realize, wait, I'm not that, you are back in the flat, floodlight. Correct. So, Correct. Perfect. When you, see, when you see your, I mean, people have you know, photos, like I have a photo of me, I don't know, I have a photo of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I feel that me, but no. And then that confusion stops something. Right? Even now I'm looking at you, I believe it's a very unsaid, implied belief that you are 3D. Like you have, there is ekta, there is a couch, and then there is a background. That like There is layers. Mm. There's no proof for it because I see you on a 2D screen. Mm. Correct. The moment that recognition happens, says again you are in a floodlight zone. Yes. Yes. Right? Yes. While watching TV, it's the same way. You, you I recognize myself with one of the characters and I'm I'm going with that character. The moment I realize, wait, I'm here. Even if even that small pause hmm. gets you back in that in that floodlight. Super. Or, or if if I'm I'm just sharing everything that's coming in my mind. Like if I'm looking at the tree, the moment I look at the sky, back in that zone. The more expansive, like when you're reading a book, if you look at the words, you are focused. If you look at the space between the paper, you are back in the floodlight zone. Yes, yes. Beautiful, beautiful. Well explained. Super. Yeah. So take a tip from that. Take a tip from Mitesh. Yeah. Homework from Mitesh, again and again, take a step back from whatever perception you are focusing on to the one who is perceiving the perception. Yeah, From the perceived to the perceiver. Again and again, take a step back. Take a step back. Good. When you have a motive that you have to witness or you have to see something. When you see something, you have to reflect on it. It doesn't work for me. Correct. Actually, if you have no intention, it just works. Correct. There is nothing to... So that helped me even in meditations. If I sit with that I have to see the witness or I have to do something, I have to look for something, it never works. Correct. It just... <laughs> You drop everything. You just simply be like what you are. Mm. That will take you to why. Yes. Take so, this as a tip from Vijaya. Very good tip. Very good tip. Next. Didi, this is Prema. Can you hear me? Yes, Prema. Yeah, Didi, this is a. I just want to share my experience regarding the meditations of Lisa that the, the sir uploaded already to the Gyana Sangha. I tried with those meditations. Those are really helping, like uh, I, to add to the Vijaya's experience. First, I wanted to do this meditation and slip into the you know contemplation meditation or to the void, which did not work. But second day, I just wanted to do for that bit of meditation, like 20 minutes or whatever. I, I did not even realize when I went into the meditation, um, I, it was a completely, and uh, I mean, I'm formulating it now, but I have no words to explain it to you. Meaning, dropping only that I have to go into the meditation only helped me into the sit for that one hour meditation, I have that experience. So those those meditations, maybe I'm attached to your words or anything, I don't know, but they, those are helping me like a pills to go into the meditation. But I'm accepting as it as a first step to initially go into that. Later I have to, you know, I have to have a strong will to even to come out of those meditations and directly get into the meditation. But people who are struggling to go into the direct meditation, this will this is like an awesome uh, still like to go into the meditation. I just wanted to share that. Okay. So then tip from Prema. First you put on the Nisargada Tadvaita meditation. Sit through it 20-30 minutes. It will take you into it automatically. Okay. okay.